everything we are building, single architecture. This is the first of its kind. Even some other countries, they have gone only um, some standalone systems. Okay. Now we are integrating everything. Even our Ernest and then they are working with us. I want to bring everything single platform. Then uh, anyway, land hub is there, people hub is there, even uh, the financial management system, e file, everything, comprehensive management system I bring. If I bring this, and then I will, in course of time, I will explain to you agriculture everything. So this is where I want to go in everything. Groundwater. Today, <coughs> groundwater I can monitor what is the level. Around 11 point, what is the today? If you say, sir, here, these are all the normal and deficit, all these things. Real time, I can monitor. I'm very happy because of the system. Last month, this time, 13.5 percent deficit of rainfall. I'm able to grow 25.6 percent growth rate agriculture. It starts, if you see that, all street lights are sensor based. Red lights are uh, not functioning. All others are functioning. We can have real time service standards. Mm -hmm. All urban, total are online. Rural also we are going with LED bulbs. Sir, this is our sensor. Yes, sir. Then, sir, these rains here, on the face of this, I can take decision. <coughs> air quality real time, so that where the air quality is going bad. I'm just sure. telling location, as soon as we land it, yeah. the air quality is multiple yeah. times better than the air quality. In the air quality, I am monitoring. Industrial pollution or the dust. With ISRO, uh, with ISRO, we have established aware basically uh, a kind of uh, model based uh, weather prediction. So we do now casting out. Next three hours, all these things can be done. A 15 member team, uh, top level team from uh, ISRO is working with us. Even, uh, so that is the recognition. You can see the analytics of it. Analytics, all these things we are moving. So we have uh, red light violation. Uh, already existing is around 5,500. We are putting another 14,000. So that is auto generator. We are, we are linked it to the registration department data. He is the guru for all these things. <laughs> <laughs> you know all the techniques, all technologies. Four and 25 rupees a minute. Minute. <laughs> he brought a 40 paise. <laughs> and also less than 1500 rupees. <laughs> that is how scaling and also mega manufacturing he brought down the <laughs> That is how it has happened. But this is a deep one camera. Whenever that man is going for related house or tour. <laughs>
India really has to prosper in the next 20 years. What you are doing here <coughs> are opportunities by we combine like and what the Internet of Things is nothing but the combination of the physical and the digital. Right? And as all other countries will have to translate, if we can be born to <coughs> this, then our view was that this actually becomes what manufacturing was to China in the 90s. So, in like China grew because of manufacturing, we can really grow because of services. Yeah. And services is, uh, you know, and both of us gave the same uh, piece, uh, our Prime Minister used it a little bit in terms of, and I told him that, you know, a lot of people talk about uh, ease of doing business. My view is that it's too selfish, yeah. because ease of doing business is only for businessmen. And businessmen in interest with, 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 with everybody will want ease for themselves. But I think that the real opportunity is for business to partner with government, really for ease of living of the citizens. And what, what you have really accomplished is ease of living of citizen also comes from ease of earning, ease of uh, getting the right merit-based society, ultimately that will lead to happiness. And everything is going to move to service. So after connectivity, you know, our own, we were, we are researching. Now there's no need to research. I've seen it here, so maybe we make the wrong decision by trying to go to Estonia. We will send those people here. Because we have now hired like the full 10 people. And they have some clever solutions. See, I think that their first principles are, and you will also realize that the way you do this is you scale up, you scale across. Yeah. That means you scale up as you've gone, like, I mean, we've covered all your people, right? You scale across all your 30 departments. That means you break the silos of your 30 departments. And then you build the ecosystem of the outcome. That means ultimately the citizen is at the center. And that is what in a small country they have done very well. So <coughs> within this, right, the trend that we see is <coughs> some of these uh, big companies, and I'll tell you frankly because they are in a small group and I feel comfortable with you. Right? Uh, the opportunity for India is really to build uh, open source software. Right? The world is now moving from what we call proprietary. So Microsoft is proprietary software. Uh, but in my view, that is not the new democratic world. The, the new world is where our young people right, can take open source and create some of their own secret sauce. Right? And if we can scale, because we have a large number of people. So if you can actually deliver, and you are delivering it to your four pro people, right? The day from the people actually will make our system stronger, will make our algorithm stronger. Because I've always said data is the new oil. Yeah. So if you get data, so today you have data from your 4,000 cattle. Yeah. Think about all the data that you get. Now at the back end, if you can use your algorithm, yeah. they make your service stronger. Yeah. Okay. And that is then exportable. Yeah. So, Fundamentally, all the 178 or 80, 180 countries, nobody has this. Yeah. Everybody talks about it, yeah. but actually, even at this level, yeah. to think, and if we progress, we are, in my view, among all Indian states that we are, we are looking at this, frankly, yeah. as a, say you, uh, we are also looking at it as a business opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. So as a business opportunity, this is a huge market. Yeah. And you are, I would say, years ahead of everybody with having so much on the ground that if you have 95% <coughs> of your people covered, right? Yeah. India is also ahead in terms of digital. So our view at uh, Reliance and Geo is that this is really our chance for the next 10, 20 years that right? as the world transits to the fourth industrial revolution, right? Our opportunity of everything as a service and first doing it for our own people, yeah. and then exporting, yeah. right? Instead of like uh, exporting, and you know, my father used to say this very well. He has told you, but for the benefit of this group, 
he has he used to always drill into all of us that you know we were so much like the British gave us any deficiencies. So the first deficiency that they gave us was that it was always divided. Into. Right. We never thought, like you thought through as an integrated, we thought as divide and rule, so fundamentally all departments are separate. Right. Governments are organized also, departments are separate, nobody really integrates the whole. In most of our companies and at Reliance we always say that it's important that we are integrated so that we focus on the outcome, so we always get rid of divide and rule. The second piece that they gave us was a mindset of saying that you are good enough to be clerks. Yeah. So if anything else, you can be maximum head clerk. <coughs> but you have to do mechanical, the same thing again and again, and that will be your comfort zone. He trained us, and this is what you are doing for this state, this new state of yours also, is to saying that everybody can be an innovator and an entrepreneur. Right? We have to put the confidence in our younger people. Right? At Hyderabad, you've done that. In terms that you can be an innovator, and he used to always joke that humne, we got economic liberalization also. What did we do because of our psychology? We became actually clerks to the world. Yeah. Right? When we said that we, we did all of this and we did outsourcing and all, but okay. our real time is to be entrepreneurial and to be innovative, which people from AP have done. And the third thing he used to say is that he, the British gave us the game of cricket. Right. And unfortunately, like the world to win, you have to play football. And what he meant by it is when he didn't like, you know, now we want a cricket team, but he always said this cricket is a bad game. <laughs> and fundamentally, whenever a bowler bowls, right, there are 11 people watching. And everybody, if you see psychology, like all the 11 people will say, I would have done that. <laughs> if the batsman bats, the whatever shot you play, all the other eleven said, "Are you are? Is it not I could have done it." Whereas, when you, if you play football, right, everybody is just focused as one team. What you actually, and we say, we have to meet this time frame. You have to hit the goal, and it doesn't matter. The guy who passes is more important than the guy who scores the goal. So, in a sense, I think as India, right, if we just follow his thing, and this is what you are doing in AP, like if we have one team and one outcome. This vision, if you implement it here, yeah. with your amount of back end knowledge, yeah. actually, my own view is that you can you can do reverse, like in innovating mindset now rather than asking central government, you can charge central government for technology <laughs> all the other same thing. Like, like we want to sell to others. Our own business model is we learn from Estonia and sell to everybody else. You already have it. You do it yourself and you can charge all the other 28 states, which will have to pay for it. And that's, that's a completely new way and I think that's the opportunity that you have. The other thing that I told Lokesh is that we firmly believe that ultimately right, data belongs to the people. And one of the things that we are, it is a natural resource. And uh, the time is not far, right, whereby when all these people, all the 4 crore, 34 lakh people whose data you have got, right? as a state you will be in a unique opportunity, right? among maybe the first in the world, to saying that for use of your data, for passive use of your data, you get paid. So ideally, if we think about it, yes, search. <coughs> we are making your algorithm more powerful. And essentially, you cannot get that for free. If you monetize my data by advertisement, you have to share something with me. And I think that the way the world is going, that right, people will get paid for passivity. So, because you have the infrastructure, right, in Andhra Pradesh, you will be among the first in the world where people will get paid for it. Today, data is just, this is simple data where we are still using social data and news data, but think of web health. So the whole idea of saying that if I give my X-rays or MRIs, the ability for a machine to read an X-ray, and if you have 100,000 X-rays, then the algorithm becomes even that much more powerful for uh, treatments, pathways, everything else, that right? agricultural data. And when you actually use that data, right, what we are generating for our citizens is the ability for them to get some money. Right? 
into their pockets. And that is where at least we see the world changing. But you know, we are going through it. I can only tell you that you are way ahead of everything that I have seen. Right? When you are described to me, that you will implement on the ground level so fast. Yeah. Right? Even I think when Lokesh came to see me, and I, I really have to say that this is, you must be proud, like this is not done right, anywhere else. And I will like send the Estonian team here for your team just to look at it and for them to understand. Yeah. But I really think that if in the next year or two, if we mature this, you can you can charge all the 28 states. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you can get royalty on the intellectual property. And that, that, that's free now. And, uh, and the other piece sir, is that what we also want to do is that we have always seen that, uh, like in Hyderabad, right, all our people, particularly from the southern states, right, even in Mumbai, like whenever we have done any high technology work, you know that we've got most of our people from the southern states and Andhra in particular. In fact, this is the right time for us to encourage all our younger people. Right? And we will put in venture cap, give them the opportunity yeah. to actually do open source. Because I think the other one thing that we need to champion is to really champion open source software. Because open source software makes the world a better place. Because just like that, nobody owns the software. Yeah. It belongs to the people. Yeah. And then you do a lot more good because everybody can add on to it. Yeah. And people don't actually, you know, these are all the same philosophy that you and my father yeah. talked about. That there is no point in yeah. delivering service at 20 rupees a minute. Voice will be free. Yes. They will come for a capita of bandwidth consumption. Only on the basis of that, charges will be there. That is what you are doing now. Actually, 20 years back I started IT in a big way. Now in Silicon Valley, highest per capita income are 50. Yes. They are not foolish. And same sir, being motivated by your vision, when we started reinvesting again, the total data consumption yeah. in India was 30 crore GB a month. We built, now our the capacity that we built is about 500 crore GB. And we are, with the broadband that we are doing now across India, we are building a capacity of 10,000 crores a year. And our view is that this is just to give access. Even I think that what where we can where we can work together is that the cost really is in, as you would say also, the fiber is easy. The extermination of the electronics yes. of the fiber. Yeah. Right? How do we bring the chip costs down? Yeah. So some of the things that we want to yeah. do here. And when Lokesh brought your message to me, so I have to. I didn't want to come until I had phone news for you. So we have decided that our both with electronics and uh, we have decided. So we are going to come near Tirupati, yeah. building one million phones a day capacity in your state. Yeah. And within that, we will then uh, actually build the whole ecosystem. Yeah. So this time we are not doing only. See, I think for us it is critical to build chip, uh, the whole chipset moment. It is important to build the PC because this is now going to be core to for the next hundred years. Now we have to move IoT devices in the middle of the year. We are building that very very problem. <coughs> now we are struggling. This is a new area. You know, from the beginning, a strong believer in technology. You have great history. At least to my state, I want to do something. No, I, I think that this is the way for India. Yeah. See, if, if we really have to go forward, yeah. right, and what is, we can't do manufacturing. Yeah. We, the world will not lead by exports. Yeah. The world we can only lead by technology. And we see, sir, today, what uh, earlier we had a very severe drought. No very clear. I have to just say, Mr. I just we, uh, we wish you more power and like tomorrow I can talk video conference all citizens from here. I can show the demonstration.
their income also you can talk to them. What in their private connectivity you can reach their home. Yeah. And talk to them. Home. They can talk to you. Yeah, telemedicine, everything, education, everything, all contents is available. And according to me, it is a very great inspiring time. All of us. If you take uh, technology and also go for an epic way, utilizing things, everything is possible to someone else. Yeah. Another, as I rightly mentioned, another 15 to maximum 15 years, that is India's time. Yeah. We can do wonders. But only provided our people have thought of this type of technology. And uh, as of today, everybody, every department is a silo. In government, what left hand is doing does not know right hand. You have to break the British rules of my father. Yeah. <laughs> now we have to break all these uh, all the silos. All the silos we have to break and then bring them convergence. Comprehensive discussion. Now it's a discussing thing. Then it told me, suppose you want to put a orange plant, what you use? Then I told him, <laughs> what is that, sir? It's not a great uh, issue. Wherever there is orange gardens, I will see. Then I will put a plant. Then he told me, I won't do like that. If I am in the position, first of all, I will grow nearly 2 lakh, 3 lakh acres of land, orange gardens. Then I will have a big fat. From there, I will have a pipeline to Bombay. <laughs> Everybody will have pipe or orange juice. Fresh juice he can have. That is the vision. That is what they have done. Gas from KG base to North India. We do not have any Always mega mission and to execute it, say it's very. I am very happy what all he used to say. All these things Mukeshi is implementing. I really appreciate it. He is a very, very big dreamer, not only dreamer, and then he, he will fight, he will do everything possible. There is a public benefit, citizen service. Because of his involvement in futuristic technology, especially IT, all these things, now he is changing total scenario and also cost of all servicing. Everything has come down drastically. Otherwise, earlier there is a monopoly. Some of the companies. Now we broke all more. Now everything is uh, scaling and fast. <coughs> it is where the very amazing experiments. Sir, our, our own view is that we want to work with all your team and your people to now solve some of the more difficult problems of India. So yeah. we thought that, you know, and it's a good thing that our own local yeah. people do that. Same thing we want to do, it integrates the full, yeah. what you have been talking about, integrated to really from seed to yeah. the table, dining table. And table this table. blockchain and everything, like we can really make sure that if uh, I really look at this banana chip, yeah. I can figure out from which farm it is coming. Yeah. So and whether it's organic, not organic, yes. and get to a quality, and yeah. essentially use the same thing for exports yeah. and everything. So we think that Agriculture <coughs> is a big piece where it's a difficult problem, but it, like you are growing at 23 percent, you can put a lot of money into the pocket of the yeah. right. It will grow minimum 30 to 35 percent. There is no problem at all. Same is our view on education, yeah. and same is our view on health. Because we think that in this piece, if we don't invest in education and don't invest in skills of our people, so a lot of limits. We will, we will work with uh, like with everything that you have got, we have no, yeah. like we will, we have, I am excited. So now we'll only work. you have to do value addition everywhere. Yes. If you can bring it and then we can make it here. Next step again. Absolutely. So not only will we do hardware in the state, we will also do software. Software. <laughs> So the hardware, hardware we are like I come I didn't want to come and visit you until I can tell you that we are, <laughs> we are going to invest in so that we are very excited. Anybody wanted to express it? Yeah, you go there. You will have a very happy thank you for coming here from you.
So I have briefed CM. Can we do five minutes for the night? I want to talk to. No, no, I have to No, no, I have to Okay, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, nice. in terms of using technology, I come to it and dwell on it in a very uh, small way when I come to the foundation part of it. It's not your domain, but also through all the other initiatives we have been using. Uh, the data is very clear in front of you. Uh, one of the key things was we did. We were the first company in uh, among all the corporates to have set up our own office within the state of Andhra Pradesh. And today we directly employ the crows, which has been our uh, gas pipeline, uh, 300 crows through our petrol retail outlets, 3,800 crows in our uh, retail initiative. And that's still the tip of the iceberg. We still have a lot of work to do in uh, Geo, and that's where I think we will develop, which can seamlessly transition to 5G. We are really seeking your help. Uh, in terms of the footprint, it is the of the landmass. By in the next couple of months, we are already we are well on our way to achieving our target comfortably. Uh, significantly, uh, if you uh, sir, this is one thing, uh, all the and uh, not only that, one of my very senior colleagues, Matthew Woman, who had met you in uh, October during this one of the earlier CIA summits, probably for its state because you know actually lacking finances and wealth decisions by more and TSP done quite a bit in terms of uh, in terms why you know, most of the universities and the university Wi-Fi. Also on the health space, uh, one of to use our Giga Fiber uh, as a test pilot. They have done multi location soup in the country, today is the Vaisai soup, which has happened only because of the you know, support which we got from you. So, this mechanism for all the farmers. Today, GeoChat is you know, having a lot of usage through a foundation where live data able to the foundation a little later specifically. And uh, this is something which has been used and adapted at the grassroots which we have been doing. So one of the things where we will be for what you have just taken us payment through the e-governance. Now creating the digital services for clients. So fundamentally, if you build this job, it generates employment, self-employment for both the clients. What goes on there? For the clients. Exactly. So, the of this, this actually provides also immediate job straight away for all your 5,000. It is like the new PC. So fundamentally on digital, so everything is done paperlessly. So if people want effectively, all your, we can actually, so what uh, is this? we are rolling out across India. In the GOC, so we have four towns where you know, we don't have any players or connectivity. We have arms reached from me to the most needy of the customers. And we also remove, you know, otherwise. It's an equivalent of taking our Amazon Flipkart services to everything. Right? And doing it on an assisted basis. So now everybody, we use our own logistics. We give them insurance, give them banking, give them all the details.